Hi, this is John Canalopoulos for our center here in Athens, Greece. Very interesting case. This is a 33-year-old female who we saw in December of 2020, so just about a month and a half ago. At the time, she had very severe um, problems with irritation uh, and difficulty wearing her contact lenses. We can see her severely scarred paralimbal superior cornea here. This is her left eye. We can see significant inflammation on the eyelids. Not that much um, a giant papillary conjunctivitis, but severe inflammation in both eyes. Um, we uh, can uh, see the uh, compelling scarring and neovascularization of the, of the superior cornea. And more importantly, if we go and look at her uh, uh, images at the time of um, cornea epithelium, we can see how painful it looks for us to just look at it, uh, how um, the cornea epithelium has uh, uh, significant symptomatology here with the Optavio Avanti epithelial maps, tall cornea here, 495. And then um, if we look at the same images for her left eye, even worse, uh, the average epithelial thickness uh, has um, dropped to a minimum 28 in some areas. Um, basically stripping the cornea from epithelium. So very, very severe and also making the uh, total cornea thickness look very irregular. So we discontinued contact lenses. We started a antibiotic corticosteroid ointment to use at bedtime for 29, 20 nights and uh, autologous serum um, twice a day as well as um, topical cyclosporin twice a day in both eyes. And here we are six weeks week later and this is not a significant amount of time and the cornea has changed dramatically we can see the um, rejuvenation of the cornea epithelium of course being off contact lenses helps as well but i think that um, uh, the treatment also plays a significant role here and again this is the other eye right eye and left eye uh, remarkable differences uh, we're going to look at the uh, pictures of her eyes today uh, we're in the end of January, so we're close to two months, and we can see that all the superior scarring and vascularization has subsided, and we have turned the clock back to this, and I'm going to say it, limbal stem cell deficiency from contact lens abuse. Uh, we're going to, of course, continue um, the uh, uh, topical cyclosporin drops. She's using Restasis twice a day for a full year, and now with these maps being normal, she can be a um, laser vision correction candidate. Um, we may go PRK um, since she had some problem, such problems with epithelium, but I think she's a good laser candidate as well. Cornea thickness is well over 500 microns in normal corneas, and she's about a minus four uh, in um, a refraction. So just some compelling uh, images to share with you in the management of severe anterior segment disease that can result from contact lens abuse. Uh, this is John Canalopoulos from our center here in Athens, Greece, uh, signing out. Uh, thanks so much for your attention.